What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through some local SEO strategies and tips that you can start applying today to rank your website and your Google My Business higher on Google search. Make sure you watch to the end of this video to get all the tips and tricks that I'm gonna be showing you that you can start implementing to increase your authority and your relevancy within Google, right? Those are the top two factors that Google is looking for when they're deciding on which local business to rank higher than another on local SERPs. So without further ado, let's dive right in. In today's video, I'm gonna be going through how you should actually be implementing your SEO strategy in order to actually get the results that you're looking for for yourself or for your client, right? A lot of the times, whenever I see people talking about local SEO or just SEO in general, they really like to make it really complicated. Now, when it comes to local SEO, since that is what I specifically specialize in, there's two main things that you have to work on that is ultimately going to get you the results that you want. One of those is building the authority. So authority just means that you're the authority within your niche. What this is going to help you do is that Google's going to push your website higher above your competitors because they see you as the authority, right? And there's different ways that you can go about this. Some of the things include social profiles, having niche relevant content on your website, and also building backlinks that is going to boost your authority in the eyes of Google. The second one is relevancy. Now, when it comes to relevancy, you first wanna work on your geolocation. And this just means that you're associating your business with the area that you're located in or want to target. And then you also want to work on your niche relevancy. And again, this comes with the content that you're actually putting on your website or your Google My Business and all the external entities that you're going to be building in order to become that authority figure on Google. So right away, one of the first things that you should be doing whenever you are starting any type of local SEO campaign is making sure that you have all of your major social media profiles ready to go. And this is also going to include business directories. So if you go down here, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. If we go to the footer, you can actually see that we have all of our external social profiles and directories linked here in the footer. Now, these are only some of the ones that we have. I do like to think that these are some of the more important ones to have. Of course, you also have other directories that you should be getting listed on. Usually for my clients, we set up anywhere from 100 to 150 business directories. So of course, we're not all going to link them here in the footer. But if you want to, you can actually create a separate page and actually list every single directory that you're on if you also want to help build your authority so of course down here we have your facebook you have your twitter youtube we have house um, this is a major one for any type of home service based company you should have a listing on house um, and if you go over to this listing you can actually see you can get reviews on here you can have your area served you can also provide these services and you also get a nice backlink here to your website. So you can see how powerful this one business directory could be for any uh, home service type company to have, right? You're going to get a backlink and it's super relevant because you're also mentioning the areas that you can serve here. So also make sure you get this set up for yourself or for your client and try to get some reviews going on this profile, right? When it comes to local, a lot of the times Google My Business will actually pull in data from external business directories, right? So they're looking at Yelp, House, uh, Foursquare, Manta, right? And each type of specific type of niche, for an example, roofers, garage store repair, uh, plumbers, HVAC, each one of these industries is going to have, you know, a few of those top citation that you want to get for that industry so it is important that you're looking at your competitors backlinks see what social media profiles or business directories they're actually listed on and you also want to get the same right 
Now I understand that not everybody has a uh, SEO tool that they can use to find backlinks. So let me show you a quick hack on how you can actually find the most relevant and powerful business citations or social media profiles that you want to set up for yourself or for your clients, right? All you want to do is you want to just go into Google and you want to do a Google search, right? So whatever industry you're in, you know, do a search for whatever industry you're in or whatever keyword you want to target. And you might want to go through three of your top competitors and simply put in their branded name. So for this example, I just put in my clients, one of my clients, um, Integris Roofing here in the search. And we just did a quick search, right? So of course, first we see their actual website. Um, and second, you can see that this uh, website is called directory.com. And if we actually click on this, it's going to take us to this citation, right? This is a business directory or citation, whatever you want to call it. Um, and we can see that Google's displaying this in the second position for their brand and name. So this means that Google's putting a lot of emphasis on this specific website. And as you can see, you can also fill this out nicely. You have a nice profile. You can add your website, you can add your Facebook, and you can add your Google My Business profile, guys. So this is a very powerful business citation that you wanna get on it. They also embed your map on here. So super relevant, guys. Um, super geo specific so if you're a contractor you want to make sure that you're listed on this uh, website right especially roofers um, so that's one of them and then we also have a BBB here so of course if you're if you see that your competitors BBB website is getting pulled up on their actual search result page then you also want to make sure that you're getting listed on there as well um, then we have Facebook here. Um, this looks like it is actually a press release. Um, and then we actually have a Google site. So Google site is actually on the first page for their branded, branded name. And then here we have some YouTube videos. And then here um, we actually have a GAF business directory, it looks like. So if you're a roofer um, and you can, I guess you're partnered up with GAF, this is definitely another business directory that you want to get right so this is what you would do guys just do it whatever niche that you're in this is an example that i did for a uh, roofing um, but whatever client or whatever industry you're serving just do a search for your top competitors branded name look through their first look through the first and even the second page of their search results and look at what business directories google is pulling up for their name and make sure you also get listed on those as well. So that's one tip there guys for helping you build your authority on Google. Then we're gonna move into the niche specific content, right? And there's several ways that you can go about this. Um, one way is here you can use your blog and the blog should really be used for pushing up your service pages and just creating overall relevancy in your industry. So for an example, we're, we're talking about garage door maintenance tips, garage door opener, uh, garage door keypad, and all these blogs, if we click on this one for an example, um, we use an interlinking strategy. So here we're interlinking to our garage door maintenance page. Um, and then we're also linking here to another blog. So one thing that you can do is you can actually silo your blogs. For an example, you can create three blogs around the same topic. Obviously you want to create separate um, questions or separate titles for them, all kind of revolving around the same topic. And you can link those to each other. Um, and then you can also link out to your service pages. So your blog should really be for one to help push your service pages up. And then you can also even use these to link out to your Google My Business profile so those are two things that you can do there guys um, and that's also going to help build your relevancy um, and your overall authority right because you're talking about the services that you provide and google wants to rank the best option for that specific service um, so that's very important guys that you're utilizing your blogs um, to push up that authority another thing you want to do is you want to be making sure that you're 
utilizing your Google My Business post. Um, and these are also going to come in handy when building up your authority. The reason being is you can use these to link out to your website. You can link out to service pages. You can link out to your own uh, Google My Business listing. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do here, guys. So this is definitely something you want to take advantage of. Um, I also use them to link out. For an example, if I open this link up, you can see we're linking out to our Facebook page. Again, creating that authority. And then we're also linking out here to our uh, Google My Business website. Guys. So you should be utilizing your Google My Business website. It's actually, I think it's actually very underused. I don't see many companies actually utilizing the free Google My Business website. And you want to make sure you're actually putting in some relevant content and interlinking and external linking to relevant websites, right? So you can see we have a areas we service and then we're linking out to all of our city pages. And then we're also uh, externally linking to our business directories. Um, and then we're also linking out to the San Antonio page. And this is just other tactics that you wanna make sure you're including in your overall local SEO strategy. Because again, you can use this as a buffer, you can send links to this website. You can do a lot of different stuff with this website, guys. So make sure you are utilizing this. Um, and again, I'm linking out to all of these different properties from these Google My Business posts. And we do post on a, uh, you know, at least three to four days a week for our clients. So this is something you definitely want to utilize and make sure you have a nice image, have a keyword in the image and you want to make sure you also include your business information. So this is also going to help build up that authority and relevancy for Google search, right? Very important guys that you're using these tactics. And then the last thing that's also going to help build your authority guys is getting relevant backlinks. And let me show you what I mean by getting relevant backlinks. When it comes to backlinks, it's very hard to control the website that it's you know, getting posted on or wherever it is that you're actually getting your backlinks from. So one of my favorite ways to do this is to actually create your own websites and pretty much create your own backlinks in a way that are super relevant to your niche and more importantly to your location. And what do I mean? Look at this San Antonio Business Association dot com. So if you guys aren't familiar with Blogspot, it's a free platform where you can create a essentially a free website on um, or like a blog. And you can actually post, you know, content on here and you can even link out to your website. You can even embed your Google My Business and a bunch of other cool stuff. So these are called geo networks. So usually what I like to do is I like to build out um, you know, a few of these websites for our client. Here's another one, cabanova.com, another free website that you can actually um, make a profile and you can have a nice article here about relevant topics. So this is going to build up your relevancy because you're talking about things in the San Antonio area and that's where the client is located. And then of course, we're linking out to one of our inner pages and then we're also linking out to our Google My Business down here. And here's another one. This is on Weebly.com. And again, we're doing the same thing. We have a nice little article here about San Antonio, historical places to visit. And then again, at the bottom here, we're linking out to our website and our Google My Business. So if I go back to this blog spot, this is very important, guys, because whenever you are creating your local SEO strategy, you basically want to create a web of different entities of different profiles of your business online. So all of you want to make sure all of these things are interconnected because that is what's ultimately going to push your authority and relevancy when Google recognizes your brand and your geolocation. So you want to make sure everything's connected which is why here we embedded a YouTube video that we have um, that we made for our client. Really simple video, guys, that you can make. Um, and if I go to that video, you can actually see it's just a slideshow 
um, of different images that we have collected of our client and we again make this keyword rich we have our keyword here in the description and then we have some of our links visit our website facebook google my business again we put in some of the keywords that you want to rank for and then down here we have a bunch of links to our online profiles we have bark house pinterest tumblr weebly etc right and then of course we finish off with the nice citation you can actually see that this video actually ranks number one for garage repair san antonio and a bunch of other related keywords so this is pretty cool guys this is an easy thing that you can do for your clients and it works very well so again you want to make sure all of these things are connected that's ultimately going to help you build your authority and relevancy when it comes to local seo those are some quick tips guys i hope you guys got something out of it i will be going a lot more in depth on other things such as city pages here and many other things guys so that's the end of this video guys if you liked this video leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more of this type of content i will be putting out a lot more videos around local seo real client case studies real step by steps and a lot more so if you guys are into that without all of the yelling, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.